Let's talk a little bit about arrays. Arrays are a confusing subject, especially if you're just starting out programming. So I'm going to try to explain this best I can, but if you still have questions, contact me somehow. Um, message me, leave a comment, and I can even post another video with another example This confu if this confuses you. So let's make a new class. We're going to call this class my arrays and check that finish okay so here we go I'm gonna clear this okay normally we define a variable we have int is let's give it a name my int equal to four okay and what's that saying is my int is a box and it holds a value of four but it can only hold one value that's four we can change that we can say my int equal to six and then it holds a value of six. We can change the value inside the box, but it can only hold one value at a time. So if we do system dot out dot print line bracket, there we go. Oh my bad. Um, my int it should print out six because that's the value inside the box that is known as my int six. There you go, six. You see, um, an array. Think of an array as a variable, as a box they can hold more than one value but they all need to be of the same type so all of them have to be say integers or ints so how do we do that well we start off the same way we declare a variable we go int and then instead of just putting the name we're gonna do a set of square brackets then we're gonna give it a name let's call this int array okay next we're gonna set up how many slots we want this box to have how many values can it hold and this is how we do it we go int array equals to a new int square bracket and inside is the value of how many boxes we wanted to have or how many values uh, the box can store so a variable is a box with one compartment. An array is a box with multiple compartments that can hold that number of variables, however many there are compartments. One variable per compartment. So four. Let's have our array store four values. Okay? So there we go. Now, how do we access our array? Our array holds values, which are called um, elements. Each item in the array is called element and we access them by referring to an index in the array now those are big and scary terms so I think the best way to do this would be through an example let's see um, our array holds four four items it has four compartments and the compartments are numbered 0 through 3 and or sorry and how do we access those we go int array 0 that's compartment number one. Int array one. Int array and notice the square brackets two. Int array three. And now, now that we access them, we can treat them like regular int val int variables. So int zero might equal to six. Int one might equal to I don't know three. Int at two is equal to 2 and int at 3 is equal to 7 so how do we read this we, we read int array at index 0 is equal to 6 the element at index 0 of int array is equal to 6 the element at index 1 of int array is equal to 3 the element at index 2 of int array is equal to 2 and the element at index 3 of int array is equal to 7 that's that's how we read them. We have four compartments starting counting from zero. So we go zero, one, two, three. That's four compartments. You got to get used to starting counting at zero. Zero, one, two, three. Those are the indexes. And each index has an assigned element. Okay? And we can treat them just like regular variables. We can substitute that in there just like that. So let's see. Um, 
so what would this print out? This would print out the element at index 3, which is 7. Proceed. There we go. Now 7, 7, 7, 7. Now we can change these up. We can change this to 1. We can change this to 0. We can change this to 2. So it first it's going to print out the element at index 3. Then the, so it's going to print out 7. Then the index at index 1. So that's going to be 3 at index 0, 6, and at index 2. That's 2. So 7, 3, 6, 2, I hope. Let's play. 7, 3, 6, 2. There we go. And arrays are just used for storing data. We'll see later that we can really easily manipulate arrays and why they're useful. But this is an introduction to arrays. This is how they're made. You put the type of data it's going to hold, put square brackets, give it a name, then you put the name, you put an equal sign, and you say new, and you put the data type again, you put square brackets, and you put how many compartments it's going to have. Then the compartments are listed in order from 0 to 3. You can do it in any order you want, but note that the counting has to start at 0, and it always goes to whatever, how many, however many compartments minus 1 it is, minus 1, so 4 minus 1 is 3, that's the biggest compartment, biggest index. These are called indexes, these numbers right here. Um, these are called elements. You say element, the element of array at index 2 is 2, and you can treat them just like regular variables. So that's a quick introduction to arrays.